All right, so here today with our friends from Rapid Recovery, we've got a, a train CVHE chiller. It's got R11 in it. Having to do a bunch of repairs, gonna have to completely take it down. We got to replace the oil uh, pressure regulating valve, along with several other items as well. And so uh, I do just want to kind of give these guys a shout out. We've done a lot of uh, larger jobs with them. Do a really great job for us. Uh, they're based locally here in, in Central Texas, right? have a shop here they technically I think they are a, a more national chain but they've got a great group of guys here in this area really w enjoy working with them so anyway uh, so we're gonna get set up on this chiller get that recovery going it's about eight I think it was 800 pounds uh, roughly maybe a little less I would have to go back in there and verify but uh, yeah we'll get that done today tomorrow we'll be able to start the actual repairs and um, yeah, just get her going. This is our lovely chiller here. And it is, let's see if I can get you in there. 750 pounds, there it is, okay. Yeah, R11. So, anyway, they do have these slotted for replacement over the next several years, but uh, they've got to do it in stages. We've got one we're about to change out in the next couple of months, but this one, we've, we need to get it fixed and back online uh, in the meantime, because right, they, they've only got the one chiller, and this has been down for a few weeks now, and they've been struggling to really maintain building with just that one chiller. It's, it's, and the thing is, they've got no redundancy at the moment, so if that other chiller goes down, I mean, they're, they're done. So we've got to get this one back online, repaired. Uh, we will be replacing the oil regulator, oil pressure regulator here. That's got to get changed out. It's not maintaining oil pressure. Uh, and then we're also going to be doing the side glasses because you can't see through them. Uh, we've already changed the oil. That was part of our plan as well. So we've got several little repair items we're going to be doing. You see that big gold thing behind me? This system is set up as a scrubber system. Uh, that's where it, it, it brushes its condenser tubes on its own. Uh, it's kind of pretty neat. But, you know, they obviously they no longer use that. They haven't used that in a very long time. So, anyway... We're getting set up here. He's getting connected up and uh, we'll get the recovery going. So we got it going here. We're pulling out of our recovery line. And what it's doing is it's coming into this tank first. This is our liquid collection tank. So it's pulling up into the tank, dropping in. Then they're pulling the vapor off of that tank back through into the machine now this machine's got a compressor on it with an accumulator and a whole setup this is a custom build they did for themselves so once it comes into the machine they send that back out it's got a little air cooled uh, sub cooler and then he sends that back over to his vapor tank so this tank will collect all the vapor throughout the recovery and uh, these two tanks will hit all the liquid. So that's their process. It's actually really quick. You know, they could do this, and they could do this 750 pounds in a day with this, 
where it takes me several days to do that with my recovery setup just because I don't have anything that big. So, um, yeah, it, it may cost you a little more up front to uh, pay for the service, but in the amount of time you would personally spend trying to do it yourself, you end up making that back up on time saved on the job. So, anyway, well, uh, I'm gonna get them, leave them here, let them roll, do their thing. Uh, I got some other properties I need to run to, so they don't need me here to babysit them. And uh, we'll let them do it. All right, so been all day. They've been in here doing the recovery, and uh, I just spoke to the tech, and he said he got uh, 623 pounds back out of the system, out of the 750 it's supposed to have. Um, now, we are aware of some of the leaks, you know, and we're working to get those resolved. We already have fixed several uh, without having to take the whole machine down. And this machine's had a lot of work over time. I highly doubt anybody's done anything to replenish uh, any of that refrigerant at, over the years as well. So honestly, it just, I'm not surprised. Um, more than likely, they're not going to pay to top it off. Uh, they're probably just gonna run it as is. And if it becomes a problem down the road, add some charge then. Uh, before it went down, uh, because of the oil uh, regulating valve, it was running fine. It wouldn't have any issues keeping up with the load. Um, I mean, it, it, it was it was maintaining what it needed to. So because of that, like I said, I just I, I'm very doubtful that they're going to uh, they're going to want to do anything for it. So anyway, that's this one. I uh, really appreciate uh, Rapids coming out, taking care of us today, and uh, we'll start repairs on this tomorrow, so tomorrow morning we'll come in, come in with nitro, uh, break the vacuum, we'll go in, we'll need to uh, get all the old oil out, uh, or not say the old oil, get the oil out, uh, we already have replaced the oil in that one. Um, then we're going to do the valve, we're going to do the sight glasses, we've got some other valves on the uh, purge assembly we've got to replace and then um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, yeah there's several things, I got a list of stuff in the truck, so as soon as we get done with that chiller, we get to start on the other chiller. And then I've uh, got some parts for my chillers across the street. So we've probably got, we'll be working on this stuff well into next week. Anyway, just the way it goes. You'll see more coming at it.